From now on, you will be celebrating Christmas with a dog. LaGuardia crowned best airport by Forbes Travel Guide following 8 billion transformation. Holy shit. How do they decide what makes the greatest airport? Since the first new passenger facility started opening, including the coveted 2021 pre- Versailles from UNESCO? Dude, I don't even know what, that's three words. I don't know what any of those mean. Am I too poor to get that? I don't understand. Do you guys want my hot take? Do you want to dive into this? You want to, you want to choo-choo? Open up, because here comes the hot hot take train. You ready? It's got a big old hoop and skeep for you. Hoop and skeep. Jesus Christ. Heaping scoop. I What did I say? Hoop and skeep? Dude, I, I should... I. Dog, I got. I should see a doctor after that, dude. My brain might be breaking, like physically in half, like a Kit Kat bar. It might be snapping in my head. What the fuck? I got to see the replay of that. Excuse me, would you rather a hundred dollars or to go out on a date with me? Oh my god, I'm taking a hundred. I'm taking the hundred every single time. I'm taking that cold, hard, clean cash every single time, and I'm buying more pizza rolls than I should probably consume at my big ass age. But I don't care, dude. Some goth lady just said, dude, do you want a hundred dollars or do you want to fuck me? It's like, I, I'm a grown up. I want a hundred dollars. Are you kidding me? That's my cell phone bill for the month. I just, I just paid my cell phone bill by not trying to bang you. What are you talking about? This I can do this every day. Are you serious? If I could do bang two or three of these out a day, find two or three dumb goth chicks on the street that'll pay you not to sleep with them after you take them to Cheesecake Factory? Dog, that's a life. Big Chungus is proud, and me as well. You hear? Bro, Big Chungus. <laughs> <laughs> Robux generator. You sussy baka, you. I hate it. It, it, This is, dude, this is, you talk, you want to talk about like looking into a mirror, like looking into a future? This is me. This is literally me looking into my future, reading shit from weirdos from the internet to pay my bills. Th yes. People are like, oh, this is me in like 30 years. No, you don't understand. This is literally me in 30 years. This is the world that show business has become. You get on one TV show one time, enough for people to be like, hey, you're that one guy from one thing. And then now you can just, you're, the rest of your existence is signing shit at conventions and just holding your iPhone in front of your face and going, hey, Keith, happy birthday from the gay parade. The cock squad wanted to wish you a happy 27th, Chase. Big Chungus. And that's it. That's that's the life of a star now. That is the American dream. You all did this. I did. Don't look at me. You guys, you made this. Bussy with the cold go, shoulder. Bucky. Cold shoulder here, Bucky's. Yeah, dude, he's got places to be. Who the fuck do you think you are? You think you're just going to run up to bussies and they're going to drop everything and be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know that Travis was here. I didn't know that he was stopping in our store on his road trip to Austin. Let me drop everything for you, sir. No, let me cancel this meeting. Let me cancel my very important Beaver gas station meetings for you, sir. Fucking losers. Oh, hell yes. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I like that. Yeah, keep it coming. Okay. Okay. That's a good start. That's a good start. We can build from that. AJ and Big Justice were created by Satan to weaken your faith in God. Just. Okay. I feel like God would have a better way of doing it than that. I feel like God would have a more efficient way. What, what is, what's God's train of thought? And help me to understand this. God's just sitting up there like, yes. And first they'll talk about the cookies and then they'll bring the antichrist to power. It's perfect. I don't understand. There's got to be more direct line. If you come up and ask me nice enough to sell my soul to Satan, I'll probably do it. So like start off with that. And then when that doesn't work, then maybe try sneaking it in through the, you know, the chicken bag. Listen to the song. Your favorite father and son. You should only have one favorite father and son. And that is All right, all right. Let me let me preface this. I don't have any favorite father and son. That was always a weird line to me in the song like to begin with. 
I, I have you're my favorite father and son. I have I don't I don't conceive of people as father and sons and then rank them like Scorsese movies. I don't do that. So I I don't I, it, like if somebody came up to me and was like who's your favorite father and son? I like I, I don't like Ken Griffey, I guess. I vibe with this bird, dude. I like this bird. I want to chill with him. I'd smoke one with him. Duh, dude, I want to hit a blinker with this bird. I didn't know he was chill like that. Fuck, man. Is he real? Is this AI? Chad, is this AI? Chad, check this bird's balls for me real quick. Make sure they're real. Make sure this make sure this bird don't got fake robot balls for me real quick, chat. Thank you. This is real. Hold on, hold on. So what what are they saying? Mother Gaia, whatever, princess is here today. You're talking about fucking hippie vibes bullshit. And then this dude just comes in and he's like, shake that ass, bitch. You got to shake that ass while you're doing this dumb hippie shit, bitch. I like that. <laughs> what, are, what are we going for? What's the what's the general vibe here? Is this more LMFAO or more guy rambling at a Greyhound bus station? Let's try. Let's let's figure this one out. So guys, a blast up from below, bringing diamonds, rubies, emeralds, and rivers of gold. Move and groove it as you get down. Stomp your feet like thunder in the ground. Yeah, she just keeps singing about crystals and hippie bullshit, and then he just comes in and he's just like. Take your clothes off. <laughs> Squirt compilation. Yes, that's what I'm saying, dude. Dude, dog, 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 dog. Been saying this. Been saying this. But y'all ain't ready for that, though. Y'all ain't ready for that conversation. Been saying that, though. I said this the other day, dude. I said this a few months back on the internet. They tried to cancel me, dude. They tried to come for me. They tried to come for me. They tried to come for my family. They tried to come for my business. They tried to come for my PS4, dog. My PS4. It's not even a PlayStation 5. I don't even have a PlayStation 5, and they wanted it. They tried to take it from me, and that's what they'll try to do. That's what the woke mob tries to do, dude. These two little boys are funnier than any stand-up comedian that is currently alive. Anyone. Any of us. They're just, just like, why do we even try anymore? Holy shit. Those two kids, I mean, if the if either of those two kids try to, like, come up and, like, go ban for ban in, like, a roast battle with, like, any grown adult comedian, that grown adult comedian would take their life that night. Are you kidding me? Right here, that's up, boy. I'm on your macaroni uh, no, you and cheese it. head ass, boy. No, right. <laughs> macaroni and cheese head ass. Oh, my God. I'm going to call so many people that from now on. Are you serious? Big lip head ass. Yeah. Macaroni cheese head ass. Sorry, man. Full stop of cheese head ass, boy. Yeah. You eat all the, the food stamps out your mama fridge. <laughs> you eat all the food stamps out your mama fridge. God damn. I can't wait to hit a fat adult in my life with that. Holy shit, dude. That's so good. On your big green You eat ass, all <laughs> the food stamps in your mama fridge. <laughs> ah, it's so good. What is this? Wearing a sweat set made for travel. Best hoodie for travel anxiety. Holy shit. So y'all just, I mean, we really have just come full snorkel. The snake has eaten its tail on mental health and capitalism. Holy shit. So we, you guys really did it. You really went and commodified it. You really, oh, you have, do you have OCD? Do I have the hoodie for you? You people are vultures. You people are snakes. God damn. You people are worse than the Rockefellers. My fucking God. I'm so serious about this. I mean, Jesus Christ. At least like the evil business people of the past had the decency to be like, I'm a piece of shit who just wants to be rich. What do you want from me? This is what I do. Not you, baby. You're sitting here being like, no. The reason that I sell these Snuggies is to help people with OCD. Shut the f oh my god, dude. Jesus. 
There's something that really just kills me about that. The way that I dance, the way that I dance has now got your bay in a trance. Your mother, your sister, your nan, your maiden, your aunt. And they all behave like this, and they all behave, and they all talk like this. The, I mean, this is insane. This blows my mind with the British. You didn't. You, you guys like conquered half of the world at one point, but your whole country talks like Porky Pig. What the fuck is going on? What do you what do you mean you had an empire? You talk like Looney Tunes. Everyone. Are you serious? What I, You can't no, you can't be in charge of things. You can't rule countries. Weird I did Okay, stop, 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 stop. Just stop talking. You can be here, just don't talk. All right? Just don't I can't hear it. it just causes a rage. <laughs> I would fuck the ethnicity out of that Chinese lady, or I'd probably do it so hard she turned into a white lady. But these donuts are from Christmas. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. good. I'm he good. keeps straw fucking the I know what you're doing. Like, I know what you're doing at that point. You're saying some weird inflammatory shit to hold people's attention, to go on to do something that's not interesting at all, which is eat donuts in your fucking car. That's how, the fact that people still keep falling for this is beyond me. You say that you say some weird shit like that at the beginning to get people in the comments being like, wait a minute, what the fuck did he just say? And then when there's more comments, it drives up your engagement. So therefore you get more views, blah, 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 blah. It's all it's basically it's the it is the 2024 equivalent of a cheap carny trick. That is all you're doing. You're driving up engagement for a fact that, again, you are not doing anything interesting. You're not doing anything of value. You are eating donuts in your fucking car. That is what you're doing. Uh, this is not to call out this dude personally or say that he's a bad person or whatever. He is far from the only person doing this. But I would just say, I know what you're doing. I see through your smoke and mirrors. The fact that anybody else does, again, this is what blows me away, too. The internet is not new. Most of these people who are commenting and falling for this shit grew up with the internet. They have had the internet for their entire fucking life. And they still fall for this shit day after day after day after day. Right? At what point do you learn? Or do you just not learn? Do these people like? Do you really seriously just not learn? You don't pick up on this shit. At a certain point, I think they welcome it. At a certain point, I think they welcome it because it's it's. I mean, it's almost the kind of the same thing as trolling. These commenters and these randos or whatever. There's a lot of people out there that they welcome, be it hate, be it love, it doesn't matter. This is the only form of attention that they receive from anybody anywhere at any time. And so they'll just keep feeding into it and feeding into it. Gold digger. Kanye. I just want it for the night. She like. Insert cash or select payment type. Took a doodle on the rap game and didn't even wipe her out. I'm so pretty. If I got married, I'd be considered the wife. She's a gold God, I mean, again, this is very clearly. This is gold your digger. song. This is your song. Oh, unfortunate bars. Th that's another. This is another trick that people use if you don't see it. People will take something and it, it will be theirs. It'll be their song. It'll be their video. It'll be their whatever. And they'll post it either in context like this, like they're posting it almost like a listicle or it's almost like, a, oh, my God, can you believe this? They'll post it as if it's not them posting their own work. Or they'll post it with like footage of random, you know, shit on the side. You know, when people see that, when they just do random shit or glue random things or do random crafts along next to a podcast clip. You know what you know what I'm talking about when I say that. People will do that and it'll be their own podcast clip. They'll upload it like that because there is almost this weird psychological idea of if it's content that's being stolen, that means it must be worth something. If somebody is willing to go through the trouble of like stealing content to repost it just for the sake of like views and numbers, it must be something that's pulling views and numbers. Why would somebody just, you know, steal and upload a podcast that nobody's watching and nobody cares about? It's these weird little mind tricks that people pull on you on the internet. And you just got to see through it. I think a lot of people do, but it just, it blows my mind the number of people who don't. Have yourself a Charlie Brown Christmas. Hang out with Snoopy and the gang. From now on, you will be celebrating Christmas with a dog.